This video contains harsh criticism on individuals mentioned. Even with that, it doesn't mean that you can send hate towards them in any shape or form. Please respect that. So guys, I have a, a little secret to tell you. I am a gamer. Bruh. Yes, it might come to a shock to you all, but I am. And I play Sudoku every five hours in each day with this little gentleman right here. And you're probably a gamer too. You probably play your Candy Crush game on your iOS that you just bought off of the black market. So that makes us all gamers. We've basically seen some epic tea being poured onto YouTube and Twitter as of late. And I want wonder why. The commentary channels are in an unpleasant situation where we've literally repeated history again and again. I wonder why. It's gonna be a different video today since we're not going to check them out yet. Instead we're going to turn over to the creative creators on the platform who are also known as digital artists. You know those guys who make uh, 18 plus content on this platform uh, because Tumblr just kicked them out? <laughs> Yeah, those guys. Since we've just passed World Snake Day a few days ago, we're gonna have a late celebration because we have the privilege to do it. Am I right? So, how about some confetti to start today's show? On the screen, come on, some green screen confetti. <laughs> Hell yeah. The Korean loud snake of today is the internet sensation named Hyojin, also known as Squeezy, who you should probably be following right now because she makes 10 out of 10 great content and probably most definitely won't beg you for your e-money to buy her e-makeup. Her content is a mix of uh, my yeah, name yeah. Jeff and some new artwork that she just found out off of the black market and uh, with her face on it, probably. Uh, she's well known as a flight for conspiring against a YouTuber named Slaz. Uh, with seven people I dub as the clown squad, although some of the members of this malicious organization managed to dodge the balloon I nerfed with my water gun. See what I did there? Stop clowning on me, thank you very much. The rest of the members that she associates herself with are the four clown men of the apocalypse, the dangerous Amalix, faking Annie, Adam Quite Jensen, and the liar Che, plus Blue's Dank, Unicorn Powers, and the cultural degenerate Whis. Now, you're going to ask me and say to me, why the hell are you talking about a cute Asian girl who screams more than my friend when he's taking a dump everywhere other than the hole? Well, I'm gonna ask you this. Haven't you seen the new talk around her? I mean, I'm pretty sure she's screwed, but I'm sure whenever she hears her someone shouting her name, she responds with this before he finishes off the last letters of it. The talk of today will revolve around a lot of areas in Hyojin's mind that people need to know about before getting an inch closer to her in the future well me included of course i mean i'm a gamer dude but I don't I don't really like someone who's not gaming, alright? I'm gonna start slow and remind those who weren't paying attention to the minor allegations and accusations surrounding her. Beginning, of course, with dog allegations. I mean, she's Asian. Uh, she probably has that in her blood, in her veins, but I don't know about that, Chief. This isn't the worst thing yet, like I said. We're going slow. We're diving in, boys. So, strap into your seats and get your sand pits, because we have a long way to go. Not really. Summary of this allegation according to DMs, an Anon source from a video by Turkey Tom, you should check him out before I come to your house and tell you your mom gay, allegedly stated that she lived with Hyojin in the same house and that she would throw the Anon's dog on his back thinking that was funny. When Anon moved out, Hyojin lied to multiple people, completely changing the line of blame to this person. Another DM shows the person confronting one of those Hyojin lied to to, and to which he replied that he should be taken with a grain of salt. Afterwards came her response, debunking this afterwards saying the dog wasn't trained and that if people ask Aiden, he would give them the truth. In his long discord post, he said the same thing but added at the end that Anna regrets talking about this and should have kept it a private matter. Personally, I don't really believe her words because of her sneaky ways with Slazer's situation, which I'll discuss in a bit, but uh, she, she literally has no credibility at this point, nor I'm Alex. Both. Both are snakes. So, uh, like I said, I can't trust it, but I just can't. And still, that doesn't mean I believe this allegation to be true either. So, I'm neutral, alright? Hashtag gamers. F you, LT Cobra. I just want to say that. F you, but you, you've got a plague right now on my channel. Fuck you, dude. Only one phrase my friend can make out of this right now. Stay away. 
away from my cats and dogs before I throw pee at you away. Thank you. Uh, dude, now just crawl back to your mining cave. Beware of those creepers on your left. Moving on to discuss her behavior with other creators and people in general. There are a lot of things about Hyojin which make a lot of sense as to why she'd be the biggest snake of 2019. After the clown squad, of course, they're not they're not getting away with it. Not from me. Yup, that's what I'm calling them now. And if you have a problem, maybe we can settle it by drinking a Mei Mei juice together on a Sunday. Hyojin is extremely manipulative and mostly toxic to a lot of people around her. Uh, DMs describing her behavior as psycho in three different instances by three different people in separate conversations. I mean, dude, uh, you can just check out some parasynical videos where she's in them and you'll probably see her laugh uh, be described as she's a psycho or some shit. It, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. It. I'm only joking dude just hey Ocean, don't 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 come to my DMs please all right she's extremely bad with other creators as well and even in some instances people are trying to avoid the cancerous plague that she is especially the Annan I mentioned earlier with the dog she was uh, uncomfortable around her uh, but I guess she's no longer feeling happy about coming out with this hey Ocean was also very close to Che hence the awful and terrible defenses a human can come up with just support her. She was also dragged into the situation of Slazo as she was the one who wrote the draft of the post, the post of Twitlonga and on a group DM that's public record now, people found out that she's a part of the team behind cancelling Slazo entirely. She was trying to ruin his reputation because of either revenge, more fame or something to do with uh, money which uh, was estimated for his uh, reddit channel with over $34,000. Um, that's a specific number. Um, she was trying uh, something which is clearly not for the greater good, going far as to actually try and ruin his credibility and take him out by sharing false accusations around so that no one will associate with him um, through through the group chat. Videos by Turkey Tom and Nicholas DiOrio uh, covering the situation in detail are linked down below if you want to hear the extensive knowledge of the, on the conspiracy towards uh, Slazo. Now here comes comes the part where I basically throw my controller on her face and tell her she should leave the place and never come back but I'll probably leave that to LT Cobra. Dude, I shouted you out, you need to shout back alright before I come to you and basically take you off your G Fuel sponsorship. Also, uh, use code uh, Mingamo Jeff for 100% uh, off your last purchase. All I can say about her at this point is that she doesn't deserve to stay on uh, any platform, and we need to uh, uh, basically make uh, a hashtag Hyojin is over party trending on Twitter. If we can do that, that'd be really epic. I'm only joking. She'll probably come to my DMs and tell me to delete this video, or her lawyer will be in contact. I don't find anything she did justified at this point. She basically accused someone falsely, conspired to bring on his demise, sided with someone who lied and basically did what anyone would have never thought about. Dated the meme man Dolan Doc in favor of the cute lesbian he is Paris Nicole. I don't know about you all, but that's not epic bros. But all we'll have to do is wait until she basically ends up participating in a charity event and then making it a defense point later in 2030 when she apologizes. Update on the situation revolving this new tweet from Hyojin. According to her new boyfriend and a few friends, Hyojin is in a mental ward but not because she attempted to end her life which is good. She is getting all the help she needs at the moment and I'm happy about that. I don't want her to die or be unstable but it doesn't mean that what she did to Slazo or any other person is thrown out of the window. People said that this is just a victim card but I don't think that is 100% true. We'll just have to wait and see what comes. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, just drop a like, you know. Just be very epic. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all having fun. And just leave me alone, dude. Just do that.